And we are just at the beginning of social interface. If we go back and think about graphical interface, that started in 1984, and it wasn't uh, an entire decade until all the different uh, great ideas about how to use that had been played out. I would suggest we'll see the same thing here, uh, that by using extra computer power, by using uh, better and better software, that we will see dramatic advances within this generation. I can think of three different dimensions that, that those improvements will come along. Uh, first, the abilities of your personal guide will go up. The ability to remember uh, everything you've done, to see what you might be confused about, to go out and fetch new types of information for you. Uh, that, that will get better. The appearance of the guide will get even more realistic. Uh, we intentionally chose to use non-human figures here in this first generation because we didn't want people to think that we'd been able to build in the intelligence of a, another person uh, into that character. So we, we mostly use cartoon figures and, and animal characters, uh, but even those can be moved up to be more 3D uh, and have a, a lot more uh, variety of, of motion. And finally, and perhaps more importantly, the whole way you interact with the machine will be different. You'll be able to talk to the machine, and it will use uh, voice recognition or so-called natural language processing to be able to understand what you do. Uh, it will be able to, as it talks to you, you'll see its lips move and, and all the different emotional responses that it will have will be incredibly rich uh, in the future. We have a, a number of groups at Microsoft working on social interface. In fact, we see it uh, eventually moving into our office products, moving into Windows. Uh, perhaps the most interesting work we're doing is over in our, our pure research group where they're looking at how very advanced graphics and speech could be integrated in. And I've asked Jean Ball, uh, who's a member of the Microsoft Research Group, to come and, and just give us a little quick demo to give us a sense of uh, what these future generations of social interface might look, look like. Hi, Jean. Hi, Bill. At Microsoft Research, we've been working on some of the fundamental technologies that will be required for the social interfaces of the future. We've combined speech recognition, natural language understanding, and 3D animation to create the illusion of an intelligent character, PD the Parrot. We've set PD up today to act out a scenario for CES involving movie, uh, music selection. He'll be acting autonomously, responding to what he hears us say. So there's, there's a, actually a computer generating all of this in real time. It's not a video or anything that's like right. that. That's right. OK. This is a research prototype. So and it might not even work. That's right. <laughs> but, a, um, but a great deal more research will need to be done before this will be feasible in, in products. But it does illustrate some of the uh, progress we're making towards more advanced versions of the social interface. Super. Hey, PD. PD? Uh -huh. What? Let's do a demo. <laughs> oh, showtime already. I'm taking requests. What have you been listening to? Wayne Newton. Rock. Everybody loves Wayne Newton. No thanks. <laughs> How about playing something classical? Oh, okay. Rock. Oh, Siegfried. How about La Mer du Jeu de Vague? That sounds good. What else would you like to hear? Anything at all? Try me. Would you like to try, Bill? Do you have any tears for fears? Oh, 
Hey, watch it! Hey, uh, Roy! <laughs> the robot of rock and roll! <laughs> Thanks, Roy! Ah, love you, babe! <laughs> oh, I've got songs from the big chair. Would you like to hear something from that? Sure. How about a shout? No, something else. Would you like to hear everybody wants to rule the world? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead and play that one first. Okay, boy, play it. Thanks, Speedy. Ah, thank you. And hey, oh, let's have a big hand for Sick Breed and Roy. Bye, boy. Say hello to the tiger. Well, it's great to get a sense of. Uh, where this is all going. Thanks a lot, Gene. Thank you.